Time for us to do business now. And the government has doubled fertilizer bags per farmer to 40. Agricultural Cabinet Secretary Peter Munya has ordered the National Cities and Produce Board to start the distribution of a subsidized fertilizer early next week. Munya has also allayed fears of fertilizer shortage in the country, saying the government has procured enough fertilizer to last the planting season. Early last month, the government released 5.7 billion shillings to subsidize prices of fertilizer after the price of the commodity jumped to record levels early this year. The fertilizer subsidy fund has lowered the cost of the chemical to 2,800 shillings for a 50 kg DAP fertilizer, 1,850 shillings for can, 2,700 shillings for urea, and PK for 3,000, and sulfate ammonia are 2,500 shillings. The government, however, capped the purchase of subsidized fertilizer at 20 bags per farmer, a move that has seen some farmers protest due to lack of the commodity. And today, small and large-scale farmers can now sign with relief after the government doubled the number of bags under the subsidy program to 40 bags from Monday next week. From the current 20, I've now doubled them uh, so that farmers can get more fertilizer and they need uh, for their planting season and also the top dressing season. Speaking at the launch of a coffee task force report, Munya has further assured farmers that the country has procured enough fertilizer to last the current planting season. transport fertilizer the Agriculture Ministry established the Coffee Prices Stabilization Framework that seeks to address challenges in the coffee subsector in order to improve farmers' earnings, boost foreign exchange, improve food and nutrition security, and create employment. Past two years, I'm aimed at taking back the sector to its rightful owner, the smallholder producer, so that he gets a fair share of his toil. The CS blamed the challenges experienced in the coffee sector to mismanagement and corruption, with cartels in the sector undermining government efforts to revamp the coffee industry. Caroline Jinga for Prime Edition.